So you're a new mom and you're ready to start losing that baby weight. Before you start, you gotta know that you are a normal person and your weight loss goals should reflect that. While it's admirable to wanna shed baby weight, your doctor may ask that you hold off on slimming down until after your six week postpartum checkup. If you delivered vaginally, however, the American Academy of OBGYN says that you can gradually begin exercising as soon as you feel up to it. But we have to note that women who gave birth via C-section do not usually have this option and must wait six to eight weeks before they begin an exercise program. Regardless, once you decide it's time to begin a fitness routine, the number one rule is to go slow. Try gentle aerobic activity like brisk walking, swimming, or biking to lose those pounds quickly and safely. In addition, avoid sit-ups or other exercises that could strain your abdominal muscles post-pregnancy. If you're like most women, you develop a gap in those muscles while you were expecting, and you'll need to go easy on those areas for at least eight weeks. As you begin your regimen, have realistic goals. Just because Angelina Jolie was back in skinny jeans eight weeks after doesn't mean you have to be at all. In fact, it's not even safe to lose more than a pound or two a week, according to most doctors. You should expect it to take 10 months to a full year to lose the 25 or more pounds you put on during pregnancy. This is especially true if you're breastfeeding, as rapid weight loss can release bad for baby toxins normally stored in body fat into your milk. But the good news for breastfeeding moms is that nursing will help you lose weight. That's because during your pregnancy, your body was busy storing up nourishing fat to feed your baby once he or she arrived. Now that your little one is here, your baby will be taking this fat directly from your body, in turn helping you reach your weight loss goals. Also, you require about 500 calories a day simply to produce breast milk. You can lose those extra 500 calories to add more healthy food to your diet or to help you lose that extra baby weight. Make sure to eat a healthy, well-balanced diet that includes plenty of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and calcium-rich foods. And remember that every woman's weight loss goals and post-pregnancy body will be different, so it's best to consult your doctor before beginning any kind of weight loss program. I'm medical editor Dr. Corey Bear with your weekend house call.